Hey everybody, um, today I just want to show you a quick tip uh, using the object.identity node. Um, if you haven't used it before, all this node does is it just passes the data through it. Um, and you can see there under the description it says return, returns what is passed in doing nothing to it. So essentially it's kind of like the watch node. Um, except for, you know, you can't, uh, it doesn't preview it. Uh, but the difference is, is it, it's an actual node that passes data through it. Um, and, and in that case, you can actually preview that data in the background. So if I was to unplug this um, object.identity node, um, you can see now the preview of those lines are gone. And that's something the watch node doesn't uh, really give you a um a, uh, a you know a way to see that geometry we can turn off preview turn it on it doesn't do anything and that's why the object node is kind of helpful and that's why i'm pointing this out um, a lot of times i'll do a filter by bull mask and i want to see um the geometry because uh, in this case i'm just getting the in endpoints um but i want to make sure i'm getting the the proper uh, lines uh and then if we have this filter by bull mask turn turned on you can see we get all the lines um, and it's just a quick way for me to see this without going through a list and clicking on the lines um, especially if there's a lot of data um, I can see it but also this is pretty useful for keeping um, uh, your your graphs uh, in order you can pull this um, off somewhere uh, especially if you don't want like a huge watch list of all the data you could pull this node over somewhere um, uh, and it, you know you could use it to clean up your graphs a little bit so anyways I just wanted to point that out I think it's kind of useful um, just to know about it um, you know there's a couple different ways to, to use the node uh, but you know for the most part it's pretty simple it's just passing the the, um, the data through it um, so let me know if you've used that node let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching